welcome to my channel, Experiences of a New Mummy. If you haven't been here before, I make um, YouTube videos about parenting and mum life. I'm really new to this, so if you uh, like my videos, you like my channel, if you subscribe, then you'll get updates every time I release a new one. And um, if this is helpful, then like this video. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook and my blog. So all of those links are up on my channel for you. So today I'm talking about uh, my best buys for my newborn. So there were loads of things that we went out and brought uh, when we were expecting and there were things we were given at the baby shower and some were really really useful and others were just complete no-goes we didn't use them uh, but today I'm focusing on what are my must-haves so number one my baby loves his bouncer that you can see here in the background so this was a baby shower gift and uh, it's the Ingenuity Bouncer. I know they do it in John Lewis and Mother Care and various other places. Um, it has a little strap to keep him in. It's got the hanging toys here. And um, at the top in the control panel, it vibrates, um, it rocks, and also it plays music. And there's quite a few music settings or volume settings and things. So. Um, this will bounce them for you, you don't need to do anything and he loved and still does love being in this and this for me as a mummy was a lifesaver because I can sit him in this and have a shower, I can sit him in this and do my washing up or my cooking, we put him in this when we're having dinner so that he's amused and we can eat so this is my number one must have. Uh, so number two on my list um, you gotta have these little muslin blankets. We go through so many. I think sometimes our wash loads are just these. Um, they're really cheap. You can get them everywhere, like Primark, Asda, Matlan, everywhere. And they're really great because when he throws up, especially because he's a reflux baby, uh, when he dribbles, uh, if he spills anything, they're really handy. And we find that if we spill anything or, you know, they're just great for everybody. So they are completely a must have. Um, my next product was for soothing him. So we were brought the, it's the cat in the background. Um, we were brought the you and the sheep and he liked that to start with. But what we found is because it would go off after 20 minutes, He'd just wake up, so after he was out of the newborn stage, that didn't really work for us. So I'd heard a lot about the My Hummy, and it's quite expensive because it's £40, depending which one you get, some of them are more, but he loves it. So um, we have this one, which is the smaller version. So this one I think is around £39.99. Um, it's really great because it's got a velcro strap so we can strap it around his cot or his push chair or whatever we want to use it on it's really light so we can literally take it in his push chair or if we're staying over at someone's house we can take it with us we can move it around the house it's brilliant um, it's got a little zip in the back and inside there it's got the little heart so this is called his heart um, and you just put batteries in and um, it does vibration so it does like a womb sound um, a C sound vacuum cleaner hairdryer and you can turn it up and down all with the one touch button so uh, you just really easily pop the heart inside zip it up attach it to wherever you want and you just press it to turn it on so that's the womb sound and you just press and hold to turn it up and down it's louder press and hold to get it a bit quieter uh, double tap to change the sound and you just press and hold to turn it off and this is brilliant the reason i like it is because it lasts longer than you in the sheep so with this one you'll get an hour continuous sound then it will turn off 
but when baby moves or makes noise or is stirring, it will automatically turn itself back on to soothe them back to sleep. Or you can set it to a continuous mode so it won't go off. But he loves this. It's a better sound. And for me, it's just because it lasts an hour. He's not waking up after 20 minutes when it turns off. So it gets him into a deep sleep before it turns off. So my Hummy is a brilliant product. And you can get the ones which are like teddy bears that they can actually cuddle and keep. But this one for me, I just liked the small size and they come in pink and blue as well. So you can pretty much have whatever design or color you want. Uh, my next product is a really simple one. Um, I never knew these existed. Somebody actually, one of my other mummies put me on to this and it is brilliant. And this is the Milton Sterilizer Pot can't see that very well um, but basically it's portable so it has this little strap so it can strap onto the the buggy or the changing bag whatever you want it just twists open and it will hold your dummy in there and what it's holding it in is these little bits of sponges which have water and a Milton sterilizing tablet inside so if you're out and about is really handy just to store the dummy in but also if baby drops it and it needs sterilizing you just pop it it's a little hole so you just pop it in the little hole and it sits in that sterilizing liquid in the sponge for 15 minutes and it's sterilized you're good to go again so this little beauty is brilliant if you're always dropping dummies uh, which leads me on to the dummies um, so Oscar doesn't really take these that much anymore unless he's really really tired but when he was a newborn because he had colic as well we used these to soothe him and they were brilliant um, they come in all different so these little teats come in different sizes so this is like a cherry bulb one they come in like long thin ones um, big more bulbous ones so it just depends which one your baby likes he likes the Tommy Tippy ones. I've tried to give him like a, a cheaper brand and he doesn't like them. I think he likes the teats because his bottles are Tommy Tippy. So he really likes these. So that's my, my other product, which kind of goes hand in hand with the Milton Sterilizer. And these Milton Sterilizers, I've seen, if you're looking for them, I'm sure you can get them online, but you can get them from Boots and you can get them from Savers. And savers also do the little mini Milton sterilizing tablets that you use in them and they come in different colors so that's really handy um, so a couple of products I haven't got here with me but were brilliant for us was the Tommy Tippy prep machine and the Tommy Tippy sterilizer so with us we started out breastfeeding which was great because you haven't got bottles you haven't got faff you haven't got washing up and sterilizing it's just good to go um, but when we had to switch him over to formula because of his reflux, the prep machine, especially in the middle of the night, is a lifesaver for a mummy. So it um, has a little holder that you put water in and it goes through a filter so the water is nice and clean. It does a hot shot, so you um, put your formula powder in your bottle, you put it underneath, you set it to the amount of ounces that you're having so it will automatically measure the correct amount. You press it and it gives you a hot shot so that's the perfect temperature for sterilizing the milk and then you put it back under, you press it again and it releases the perfect temperature to top it up to whichever um, ounce or mils that you want and it's done it's the perfect temperature and it's good to go and it does it in like two minutes it's brilliant um i just when we have to make bottles up when we go out now it's such a faff and i just think i couldn't be dealing with that especially at night if we didn't have the prep machine so that is a massive thumbs up product and um, sterilizer is brilliant because um ours is like a plug-in one rather than a micro sterilizer so you just pop everything that you want in there and it fits six bottles six lids and six teats and you just pour in some water um, which on the tommy tippy bottles is really easy because they've got a little line to tell you how much water that's where you're filling it up to you pop it on and it takes about 10 minutes and everything is sterile so they're two that i don't have with me but they're brilliant products um, so my last two, so um, my next product is the 
grow egg thermometer um so this was brilliant because obviously babies don't like to be too hot they don't like to be too cold so the perfect temperature for a baby is between 16 to 20 degrees and ideally 18 and what this does is you just uh plug it in and it comes up with a display on the front um and it tells you what the temperature in the room is and it has a little color so if it's too cold it goes blue around here if it's just right it's orange uh, sorry if it's just right it's yellow if it's too warm it goes orange and if it's really too hot it goes red and it has little smiley faces as well so if it's too cold it's a little frowny face if it's too hot it's a frowny face and if it's just right it's a smiley face so this was brilliant because we didn't have to guess what the temperature was if he was comfortable um, especially because he was born in summer at the end of summer so it was really hot in our room so we knew we needed to cool it down and then going into winter uh, we knew when we needed to warm it up and those sorts of things uh, it works because it's got the little thermometer on the back here so i'm just going to plug it in and show you quickly um, so straight away and it will probably change because I've only just plugged it in. Uh, but straight away, it's showing that it's 20.3 in here. So you can't really see it because of the light, but it's uh, an orange color because it's warm. You see that better at night. And when it drops below 20, so it's in its 16 to 20, it will have a smiley face. But that you just leave plugged in um, and it will automatically change for you as the temperature changes so that it's gone up 20.4 is a really brilliant product really brilliant um, and you can get them again like online John Lewis Argos everywhere so I can't remember it was about 35 pounds but really good so my final product in my best buys is the grow bag so this is a sleeping bag this is a 0 to 6 month size because Oscar's still in that. When he was newborn we had the gross swaddles which are thinner material and they zip up and you can put their arms inside and popper them in so that they're swaddled up and you don't have to swaddle them with a blanket. A really breathable fabric and they come up uh, to the neck so that they can't get it over the head and suffocate and it can't come down and make them too cold. So we always use the gross swaddles when he was newborn and then he outgrew them um when he was just around three months so we went on to the grow bag which is from the same company um there's loads of different makes of these now mother care do their own ones and we've got one of those um even places like matalan asda they do their own ones so you don't have to have grow bag because they are expensive for what they are i mean it is a sleeping bag and they retail at about 35 pounds each but they're brilliant because you haven't got to worry about blankets you haven't got to worry about them getting it up over their head if they still like a swaddle i mean oscar never liked a swaddle he always had his arms out even in the gross swaddle you can still swaddle them in it and um these poppers here in the arms you can so you can still adjust whether they just have a little arm out or if they want a bit more um you've got obviously the zip fastening this one's got two zips at the top and the bottom because this one you can actually put in a car seat and put the seat belts um not seat belt you know the car seat belts around it um so that's an added bonus as well and this they come in different togs depending on the temperature so this is his 2.5 tog so if it was going to be between 16 and 20 he would just go in this in a long sleeve vest um, if it was you know above 20 then he'd go in a one tog which we have in just a sleep suit so it's really really good and when you buy a grow bag um, and I know the mother care one has it as well you get um, a pop-up room thermometer which tells you on the back what you should put them in inside the sleeping bag depending on the temperature so that's really good as well because you know we were thinking what do you put them in at night because you don't want them to get too hot and you don't want them to get too cold so it was really handy because it told us depending on the temperature what you layer them in with this so this 
is my final best buy and this one has a little zip in the back here as well because as I said it goes um, basically I think you put it in the car seat and then you just put them inside it in the car seat so we haven't used that yet but that sounds really handy um, so those were just some of my best buys so that's just what worked for us and um, what we found handy so hopefully you enjoyed those I'll put links to where you can buy all of those and the products that I talked about in the description so if you want to check any of those out um, you can and if you've made it this far then as I said um, if you liked this you can subscribe to my channel and you'll see more videos like this coming up if you liked it give me a thumbs up on the video um, and a comment if there's anything that you found that was really helpful or if you've used any of these products let me know um, but otherwise thank you for watching and um, I'll see you again next time guys